What I'd like to do today is kind of continue the testing of the black powder that I've made with the willow charcoal. I've been using this 1.9 cc Lee dipper and that pretty much throws an 18 grain um, load but uh, I found out that it's bearing quite a bit, maybe as much as a, a grain. So I'm going to use the electronic scale to actually get um, closer to the 18 in the, in the charges. We'll also be shooting a 451 Lee cast uh, round ball using number 10 Remington caps and I'll be using um, a homemade lube that I uh, have brewed up here in this in this lube gun. And this is going to be kind of a longer version because we'll actually show uh, shooting the guns and and where the bullets are hitting the target. When we're finished up then we'll actually go through the uh, calculations here as far as the average speeds go and, and also the deviations and we'll com be comparing that up against 18 grains of the 3F GoX that we've shot here in the past. So that's kind of the plan and we're going to get to loading this up then. Okay there we got an 18.1. You know I can be within a tenth or a couple tenths not worried about that for sure but I don't um, don't want to be uh, a grain or a grain and a half off. So I'm going to weigh up each charge in. We're going to load up our gun that's been cleaned and we're going to see what that does for the first six shots. And here's a look at our chambers after we compress that uh, 451 round ball down. They're at least a good half inch, maybe 5 eighths inch um, from the top edge of the, the chambers here. And here's a look at our chambers once we get the lube on top of the ball then. I kind of make a visual on this sometimes because that way I can make sure that the, there are no cracks that aren't covered with with lube down in there. I don't want any any possibility of any uh, flashovers or chain fires. So that should take care of that. Sealed up pretty well. Okay, we're set up with our first string here of six with our 18 grains of the willow powder. And this was made with what I call a wet snowball. And then we run it through a screen. Oh, out of a clean gun. Let's see what these will do. Now we're loaded up for our second string and this so far chrono works. We should be able to tell how we're going to shoot as far as uh, consistency goes with the followed up chambers, or followed chambers I should say. I know sometimes uh, clean ones have a little more variation, but let's see what these do. And we finished up at 8.33. Except for that 7.75 shot, we're not, not too bad. Uh, looks like we got a pretty decent little group down there too for this homemade powder. Well here's what we got for our math on those two targets. We had uh, four shots that showed up on the chrono and we had an average speed of 6.36 for those with a deviation of 16.2 and that's on the 18 grains uh, weighed of the powder and that's with our clean chambers. Once those chambers followed then we had our speeds increase average speed of 18 of 815 and a deviation of 18.2 and really a, a decent um, group for that so telling me that the homebrew powder has uh, very good potential as far as not only the deviations and the 
and of course the grouping ability uh, shooting real well. I like to compare that with uh, with the Go X, and here I was using 1.3 cc's. Over here I'm using about a 1.9 cc dipper, but then like I say I'm adjusting that to make sure that I'm getting actually 18 grains. So I was getting the 18 grains of Go X. Now this was not weighed. Um, well, I mean I weighed one of the 1.3 three cc's and, and get to get 18 grains so it's really close to 18 because it doesn't vary too much. In our clean chambers um, were 709, 720 and 760 and I was shot on the 26th so like three days ago. And once the chambers uh, followed up we had these then for our speeds an average speed of 802 with a standard deviation of 15. Again if I compare that over here to, to 18 grains I'm getting an average speed of 815 and a deviation of 18.2. So um, I think it really shows that that the um, do-it-yourself powder has a lot of a lot of potential, and I'm gonna see what I can do to make some more of this stuff. Well, the sun has peaked out. We decided to load up six more. We got a pretty good wind right now out there. Uh, I'd say maybe 15, 20 mile an hour. I well, raise the chronograph up a little bit. I hope like heck I don't hit the damn thing, but I was mad enough the last string almost to do that. I'll be shooting about two inches over the light sensors on this thing. That wasn't working well. Let's take a look at the targets. You know, I'm not really caring too much what those speeds are because in my estimation that's one heck of a group. And uh, one before that was even even better yet. I mean this measured an inch across here, but I got this one up in here on 21 yards. And then my fourth target looks like this. So that's four strings, 24 shots. We're not seeing any issues from the uh, falling in the barrel, I haven't cleaned the gun, and that uh, do-it-yourself powder, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So even though I'm not able to get my speeds, the ones I did get were a little lower, you know, like in the 780s, uh, they were under 800, the two or three of them that did show up. So maybe shooting a little a little slower than our second second string was, but um, like I say, I mean, who who's going to complain about that for 21 21 yards, regardless of what the what the speeds are, the 18 grains of that do-yourself willow was uh, really turning in some some excellent results, I think. Well, I wanted to get some more readings off the chronograph, and it just wasn't working this afternoon. Not sure if the sun angle was wrong, or my chronograph has seen one too many black powder shots go by it. Later this evening, right now, but it's... Um, kind of overcast. Anyway, we're going to see if our chronograph will pick up some of these shots. These are 18 grains of the willow um, screen powder. So we'll see if we can get any readings from it this time.
94. Well, I just ran out of these black squares that I got, I think, from Midway or someplace. I see there's a thousand in a pack, and I think I ordered those, I don't know, three, maybe three, four years back. I'm not sure, but so apparently I've been doing quite a bit of shooting. Put one on each target. Let's go down here. We got an orange dot in this one. So, is the chrono working? I'm going to try one more string of six shots. I wasn't real impressed with those last ones. Deviation, they were deviating quite a bit. More like 100, 150. Well, let's see what this do. Well, here's a look at our six targets that we shot with our do-it-yourself willow powder. I'm pretty impressed and pretty happy with the overall results we got. First two targets, of course, the first one we shot with the clean, clean chambers and average speed of 636, uh, deviation 16.2. Once we get our chambers fouled, we get speeds that are quite a bit higher. Average speed of 815 on these, deviation was 18.2. Now uh, we had a one inch group on this second target which was really um, really decent and this one wasn't wasn't bad either. On the third and fourth targets I wasn't able to get my chrono to work only had a couple of readings off off each one but uh, uh, group groups are really really decent here. like to have had some speeds on those but but didn't get them. Wait a little later in the evening and we shot uh, two more targets then and the chrono was back to working again so we have a uh, Average speed of 815 on the fifth target, 875 on the on the sixth one. Uh, deviations on that fifth target, 47, quite a bit. We might tend to think that this 694 shot was the one down here, but it turns out uh, if we watch the video, it was up in here somewhere. So we can't always tell where the where the uh, shots are according to the to the speeds here. Sometimes I drop a little sight or don't hold up enough sight or too low or whatever. I think that makes a difference on it. So anyway, we got some really uh, decent results here, I think, and um, I'm going to try to work on trying to get these deviations down. Somehow I have a lot of uh, fines in the, in the mix that I'm doing with the powder, and maybe that has something to do with it. So I uh, had a good time shooting these, and um, looking forward to making some more of this, uh, this powder and, and even running some more tests on it.